Welcome to the Mopar Insiders YouTube channel. Today we've got some news for you on FCA's upcoming inline six turbocharged gasoline engine. Now, if you're a regular reader of MoparInsiders.com, you might have seen some of our articles mentioning the upcoming GME T6, which stands for Global Medium Engine Turbo 6 Inline 6 Cylinder Engine. Unfortunately, we also shared the news that the rumored 426 cubic inch or 7 liter Hemi V8 had been shelled, and according to our sources, some of the vehicles that were rumored to get the 7 liter Hemi V8 could possibly be powered by a hotter version of the all-new inline six. Now, according to our sources, the upcoming inline six cylinder will be available in multiple power levels, ranging from around 360 horsepower up to a high output version developing 525 horsepower. Our sources also tell us that the GME T6 will feature FCA's upcoming e-booster technology which uses electronics to eliminate turbo lag. In theory, this would allow FCA to use larger turbos on the future engine for more top end power and higher boost levels while using the e-booster to fill in for turbo lag which is usually associated with the said larger turbochargers. Well, Mopar Insiders has just uncovered a patent filing from FCA directly related to the new engine family. In a new patent, filed on November 1st, 2017, and granted on April 2nd of this year, we get our first visual evidence that the upcoming six-cylinder does exist. So, FCA recently filed a patent with the U.S. Patent Office that describes a new EGR, or Exhaust Gas Recirculation System, for use with turbocharged gasoline engines. While FCA also has the GME T4 turbocharged inline 4, which debuted back in 2016 in the Alfa Romeo Giulia and has since spread to the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Cherokee, and the Chinese market Jeep Grand Commander, this patent drawing clearly shows an inline 6 cylinder engine. While we have full confidence in our sources, as they're typically spot on, this is the first piece of tangible evidence that we can show that the GME T6 does indeed exist. So this is everything that we currently know about the new upcoming inline turbo 6. We expect a debut for the 2023 model year. It's going to spread across the whole rear wheel drive FCA lineup and it's going to be a North America only engine. It's going to be available in three power levels, as I mentioned before, from around 360-ish horsepower up to 525-ish. I just don't know what that middle level is yet. And it's going to be in all basically the next generation rear-wheel drive FCA products, including the fifth generation Ram that came out in 2019. So Charger, Challenger... The upcoming Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer, the Grand Cherokee that's set to debut next year will get it a few years after debut, and of course the Ram 1500 pickup. We also know that there is still going to be available Hemi V8s on those vehicles as well. We're just not sure exactly where the whole engine lineup is going to slot where say maybe a 5.7 Hemi would be a lower model or lower trim engine than the higher inline six trim. So curious to see how that all shakes up. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. It helps us out a ton. So thank you guys and we will catch you in the next video.